This is NBC6 News at 11. Hair loss. It's a common problem mm -hmm. that affects 80 million men and women who spend billions trying to grow it back. Uh, we've heard of transplants, pills, and lotions. Well, now Health Connection reporter Donna Gonzalez tells us about lasers for your thinning locks. 33-year-old Dale Rudder is an actor whose career depends on his looks and locks. Everybody wants that Brad Pitt, you know, Tom Cruise hair that they can throw around. But his was starting to thin. I was trying to find something between surgery and the pills and all that kind of stuff. And when this came along, it seemed perfect. This is laser hair therapy. The device contains more than 100 lasers placed close to the scalp for 15 to 30 minute treatments. Dr. Alan Bauman is a consultant for the company that makes them. Many people are familiar with the high-powered lasers, like LASIK for surgery of the eye, laser hair removal, laser resurfacing. This kind of laser is totally different. It's called low-level laser therapy. And it's a soft laser. It's a new technology that doesn't have much scientific evidence proving it works. We don't know exactly what this laser is doing um, for hair growth. I mean, we don't know exactly what the mechanism is. But what we can say is, over the past six or seven years since I've been using lasers in my practice, we've seen great results. Dale has been coming into advanced hair solutions on Brickle for four months. One year of treatments is recommended, but he says he sees results. I could see it. It was the color, the texture, everything was better. So, coincidence, maybe, I don't know. Maybe not. Dateline NBC recently followed five men from South Florida for a year trying different hair growth treatments, including a laser comb. It's the same technology. So whether you get the, the laser treatments through a handheld device or a laser hood, it's going to be similar. A University of Miami dermatologist followed the patients and was surprised to find how well the laser worked. And the results were, were pretty uh, remarkable, pretty positive. And definitely looking at the pictures before and after the treatment, uh, there was some uh, objective hair regrowth. 31-year-old Jeanette Viscaino feels this type of laser treatment is working for her. My hair's thicker and it doesn't fall out as much. I don't see the bald spots anymore. She had probably a good two to three inch area uh, where she could clearly see her scalp. And now um, it looks like she's gotten quite a bit of, of thickness back in and around here. Promising, but not proven. That's why Dr. Bauman has this advice. If someone's out there having hair loss, they probably want to stick with some FDA approved treatments first. Try those, like Propecia if you're a man, or Minoxidil for a man or a woman. They're hoping to get official clinical trials started in the next year or two in an effort to get low-level lasers FDA approved for hair growth. Diana Gonzalez, NBC6.